Hello, hello, I'm Old Bitty Gaming, and thank you for stopping by. We are back in the infected for the second time today. I recorded it once, and somehow or other, the volume on my speaker got turned way down, and you could just barely, barely hear me. So, I am redoing it. What I had did in the last episode, I went out and collected some more stones, of course. I have been making iron ingots because I'm working on a mineral extractor. All I like, I've got the nails in it, I've got the planks in it. We took eight nails, eight planks, and it's going to take 18 iron ingots. So, uh, yeah. So I've got 10 of the 18 in there, so we need to make some more. I also made a weapons rack. All it took was some nails and some planks, so it wasn't much to it. But I needed room on my uh, little hot bar. So I got rid of my torch. So we're good there. I moved my planters, I finished moving my planters out here and I did get them planted. So yeah, I don't have to worry about watering them anymore. But that basically is pretty much all I did. I did move my boxes around a little bit. Uh, I still need to move this. I'm going to move this over here out of the way because I won't need it right now. We're just going to set it there. Okay, now I have a lot of floor space again. But I moved, you know, my stone things over here. I moved those over there. I put my uh, chip and fiber box over there. So, yeah, I've, I've got a little more room to work with. But let's uh, get this fired up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go over here. Then I shift, right click, to put these in here. See, I've got my biofuel all ready to go. So we're going to place it just as soon as I get enough uh, ingots. I have. Five, six more. So I want ten ingots. I know I only need eight out there, but I want ten in case I need some nails or something like that. But yeah, we're we're coming along. We really are. I need to start adding on to the base a little more. For some reason, that looks county wampus. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I just hit my delete key. And I can delete it. I haven't got any material in it or anything. But we'll have to figure that out. I may start building down on the, at the water and work my way back here. I haven't decided yet. Because I know I'm going to have to put stairs all the way down. Now do do maybe one or two platforms and then a stair and then all the way down to the water. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll get there. Yeah. I can go over here to this big arrow, click on it, and it automatically puts the the fragments in my backpack. So, yeah, this next bunch, we ought to be able to go ahead and uh, yeah, we will. So, let's go ahead and grab this. And I can shift right click them right into my backpack. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't feel well. I think I'm trying to come down with the flu. 
I mean, I, I feel like 40 miles of bad road. I, I feel bad. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get through this. I'm not going to let something like flu or whatever it is uh, make me stop doing the videos. I've had enough trouble with the sound. I don't want to stop now. I don't remember how much biofuel I need. It wasn't very much to fill the extractor. But, uh, like I say, I, I don't remember. It's been so long, but I'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. All right. We're about ready to make our last batch that we need. Okay. And then I can go shift left click real quick and just put them in. Let those cook up, and we'll be ready to go. We're going to take that right over and put it in the mine. I see a pumpkin over there. I'm going to run over and grab it. And I just want to pick it up. I don't want to... Oh, what have I got over here? Harvest. <coughs> oh, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> I know that sounds awful, but I can't hit my mute button fast enough. I know you don't want to hear me coughing and hacking, but like I said, I, I, I'm feeling really rough. Okay, this is my pumpkin bin. So now I have two pumpkins in there. I start filling the other one up with watermelon. They last longer if you put them in these bins than they do if you harvest them and put them in a box. And we are getting our ingots. There we go. I am going to go over here. I'm going to put that out. I probably need a drink of water. Drink that. Go ahead and eat these. Let's go over here, fill our water up. We should have enough of everything to do this. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's put two of these up. Let's run over here. There it is. Yes. So, what we are going to do is we are going to grab this baby right here and we are running for the mine. The other video I talked about the iteration of the mines. I mean, we start out just rocks that we had to mine, and then we went through, uh, I'm going to see how many of these I actually need to fill this up. So there's one. Used to, you didn't want to overfill these. I'm thinking it's four that we need. Yeah, four. And then you want to power it on. Uh, I can extract only what I want, but I'm just going to leave it 
and let it give me what it wants to give me right now. And you see the timer counting down. I'll get my first whatever it will be in 4 minutes and 50 seconds. But I can get cobalt, copper, aluminum, stone. Iron, I don't think you can get in here unless you get a uh, uh, break up some of the stones and you've got a chance of getting iron. But we've got that going. I can also put an extractor, I, if he hasn't changed it, you used to be able to put an extractor on your property and you would get iron and stone out of it. But like I say, I don't know if he changed it or not. We have gone from mining rocks and getting iron. We have gone th <coughs> through uh, mines where each mine you had to, you could get a certain type of material, of ore. We have gone through a lot of different uh, iterations of mining. We really have. But now we have an extractor going, which is great. And we will have two or three of those. Maybe more in that mine. So let's put that back up here. Straighten this up just a little bit. That looks better. But yeah, I, I think we're coming along. I really do. Uh, let's move this just a hair. Set it out here for now. And let's put it back. Put it back in this corner. And then I'm going to move this one. I mean, it might not mean much, but yeah, I, I like things to look a little bit neat. Outside, I know my uh, planters look awful, but uh, eventually <laughs> I'll have them straightened up. How are we doing? Oh, they're ready. Harvest. Let's just replant right away. <coughs> and I did not want to harvest that watermelon. What am I doing? It's going to take me some getting used to. Harvest. Harvest. Cucumber. And I'm having trouble getting used to this tiny mouse. I thought my mouse was little, but this mouse is really small. that up. Okay. And I am, no, I'm going to pick you up. Thank you. And I don't have a seed, so I have to get a seed. So I'll need a pumpkin and a watermelon seed. It's funny how the vines disappear, isn't it? Okay. I need a pumpkin. I just need one. Flip one. Give me one. Thank you. And one pumpkin seed. Oh, it's a melon. All right, pumpkin. Flip one. Thank you. That's all I need. Let's go up here to food and put some of this stuff up that I can. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, either make another box or make some more canned food. Or probably more canned food. But let's go back over here. 
let us uh, this one is not ready to go yet okay I planted that one a little bit late I think uh, this one I wanted to add watermelon seed Harvest that. Plant my potato. See, and that one's not ready. And neither is the pumpkin, so we'll have to wait on those. But that's fine. That is perfectly fine. All right. Uh, let us grab this. And that, that, and that, and we will go over here to our food prep table. No, not yet. Uh, let's go into inventory first. We need to drop this on the ground. Okay. I wish that uh, we could move when our, okay, I can't do it, so, let's put one, one of these, one of these, I don't need this. What happened to my watermelon? Okay, fruit salad. Now I can pick that up. Let's put off one more. Hopefully I can make a veggie salad too. But I can do, I can't shift clip, you can't shift click these in. I have to drag them over. So craft. Okay. So now I have more of those. Can I do I have enough to make fruit salad? Let's put that in there. I don't need it. I have two corn, two cucumbers. I don't remember what all I needed. Hmm. I don't remember. Uh, let's look. Let's look in here. It's under food. Veggie salad. I need a veggie mix and an empty can. A veggie mix. What's a veggie mix? Potato pie mix, bacon mix. Okay, where is a veggie mix? Stew mix. Hmm. There it is, veggie mix. I need a cucumber, a corn, a potato, and an onion. Okay. There's a potato. And an onion. Let's go over here and make a veggie mix. There's my can. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's do it this way. Veggie mix. There we go. Let's craft that. Now put a can in there. Put our veggie mix up there. 
There we go. That is different than what it was the last time I played. Okay. And I've got an extra can there. But let's put our veggie mix up there. Let's eat a fruit salad. And eat a couple of eggs. I've got all kinds of eggs. Let's eat those. Another one of these. Then we can eat that. I could have held on to them, I know. Made another one, but we're fine. There we go. Uh, I've got some meat over here. We need to get these. And I need to butcher that other fox. Get it going so we'll have some more meat. One of these days we're going to have both of these so full of meat. What are you doing in my house? Better run. Okay, one. And eat. Let's butcher it. Okay. Then I want to go into my inventory. Over to here. Wash hands. And another thing I don't like is no matter how much water you have in your candy or your flask, it takes it all. You could have two drops of water and it will wash your hands just fine. But it takes everything you have in there. Just wash your hands. If you've got 60, it'll use all 60. If you've got two, it will use the two. That needs, in my opinion, that needs to be changed. But let's get this going. That's a pet peeve of mine. Ever since we've had to wash our hands, it's been like that. Let's cook that liver. And I don't have any water left, so yeah, we're going to have to uh, make some more water soon. And I am already out. Wow. Let's go over here and grab one of these. I guess I let it burn instead of putting it out. Which I have a bad habit of doing. Let's put that in there. Get it lit. So we'll go over here, get rid of some of this stuff in my backpack. I did take off my winter clothes because I was getting too hot. think I can, no, I don't want that. Go in there. Okay. How is our, that's done. Let's put out the fire. Yes. Thank you. Put that on there. I'm going to put these over in the food if I have room. Now these are good for 16 hours. This liver is good for one hour. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that liver. Drink some water. There we go. But yeah, if you dry meat on the drying rack, it lasts much longer. Just like if you <coughs> make canned food. These won't spoil for 21 hours. Yeah. These here are older, so it's 18 hours on those. But yeah, you've got all kinds of time to get them ate. But I believe that is all I'm going to do today. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal. 
But like I say, I have already done this once today, and I'm not feeling very well, so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and end it. We only have about five minutes left. I've done everything I wanted to do. I've shown you everything I needed to show you. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and end it. But uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. You know, hit that like button. It not only helps the algorithm of YouTube, which basically helps YouTube place my videos in a better position so more people can see them, you know, find me a little easier. But mainly it's to let me know that people are actually watching. I don't like flapping my lips talking to myself. So I like to know people are actually watching me. So hit that like button. It does help me. Uh, if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I know there's people, some people don't like watching an old woman play, blather on, but that's for their prerogative. I'm going to play regardless because I do enjoy playing. I do like yapping. And I do a lot of yapping. But the old goat is hard of hearing, so I do a lot of mumbling and talking to myself, thinking that he might hear me, but he doesn't. But anyway, yeah, the <coughs> one thing I absolutely wish, I hope, no matter where you are in this big wide world, I wish your day is as wonderful as you hope it will be. And I do mean that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I, every time I say it, I mean it. I'm not just saying it to be saying it. But anyway, I'm Old Bitty Gaming, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.